Let's imagine for a moment that this is a mountain. Not particularly large mountain, not particularly picturesque, but a mountain nonetheless. Let's imagine for a moment that you want to dig a pipeline through this mountain, the last link in a chain that will flow like an artery, bringing energy and oil, the very stuff of life. Let's imagine that the people who live near the mountain aren't exactly thrilled about this plan. So a kind of game begins. A game that's a little bit like chicken, and a little bit like Red Rover, and a little bit like the French Revolution. Except, of course, that it isn't like any of these things. You could apply to the National Energy Board to conduct a feasibility survey. Just to see, you know, what's possible, what the limits might be. The people who live near the mountain might elect a mayor who opposes the pipeline expansion by a 48% margin. You might start survey work anyway. Maybe cut down some trees in a local park. The people who live near the mountain might set up protest camps. People who don't want tar sands. People whose land rights aren't being acknowledged. People who don't want a pipeline in their backyards. You could amass your lawyers and get an injunction. The police will remove any protesters from your work site. The people on the mountain might say no. They won't go. They won't pretend it's legal for a foreign corporation have citizens of a country, a province, a town forcibly removed from a public park for a peaceful protest. You could set in motion the events that lead to the slapping of poets with $5.6 million lawsuits, the arrests of 11-year-old girls, not perpetrate yourself, mind you. You don't really have to do that because it's more than the combined enterprise value of $1.5 billion has its own particular kind of inertia. Ah. Local communities and democracy and human morals just isn't sufficient to slow it down. Politicians and energy boards, courts and police, they know physics as well as anybody. They can feel that money rushing through their bones like an avalanche or an earthquake. They know well enough to smooth its passage or at least get out of the way. This isn't how we thought the game was supposed to be played after all. Not really. It's supposed to be like the dog and the wolf in the cartoon. They fight their fight over those sheep for their eight hour shift. They punch out and then they're friends. Good night, Sam. Good night, Ralph. See you tomorrow. The difference in ideology enforced something from the outside, not bone deep. This is the new thing we need to understand about the world. That difference. Deeper than bone, deeper than bedrock, $125 billion wants what it wants. It wanted 63 people in the last four days. So it took them. No game, no timeout. If you think you aren't in a war, you haven't been paying attention. Imagine for a moment that this is a mountain.